Moving to Hungary seems to be quite attractive considering all the upsides this small European country has to offer. To let you get to know Hungary a bit better, I would like to use the time to address the 8 greatest upsides of moving to Hungary. The first advantage clearly is the lower cost of living. If you live of 3000 US dollars a month in Miami, Florida, you will only need about 1400 US dollars in Budapest, the capital of Hungary, so the cost of living is over 53% lower. If you live of 3000 US dollars a month in Denver, Colorado, you will need about 1300 US dollars in Debrecen, life is over 56% cheaper. And if you live of 3000 euros a month in Stockholm, Sweden, you will need about 1200 euros in Seged, so life is 60% cheaper. This is undoubtedly one of the greatest advantages of living in Hungary, because you always have to consider that if you move to Hungary, you can enjoy all the following upsides and you will automatically save at least 50%. But not only the cost of living, but also real estate prices are a lot lower. In the middle of the vibrant city of Budapest, where over 1.75 million people are living and as the economic and cultural center of the country has a lot to offer, you can get a one-room apartment for as little as 40,000 euros or almost 50,000 US dollars. Accordingly, you can imagine how expensive, or more precisely how inexpensive, a life in the countryside or in a small Hungarian community is. While property prices in Western European countries have risen significantly in recent years, it seems to be the case that in Hungary property prices are still attractive. The next advantage is Hungary's central location in Europe. Hungary borders on seven countries – Austria, Slovakia, Ukraine, Romania, Serbia, Croatia and Slovenia. If you move to Hungary, you will have almost no choice but to discover these countries for yourself. Hungary is also well connected to its neighboring countries in terms of transportation infrastructure. In particular, traveling by car is possible without any problems, while traveling to other countries by train does not seem to be as efficient yet, especially to neighboring countries to the south and east. It takes around two and a half hours to get to Vienna from Budapest both by car or by train. But if you want to travel to Zagreb or Belgrade, the car is much faster. In addition, the prices for gas seem to be lower in Hungary, which makes traveling by car more attractive. Which country has the world's third largest GDP? Which country does not border India? And which country calls this population pyramid its own? At dailygeographyquiz.com, I've programmed a website that sends you questions just like these via email for free. Simply enter your email address as shown in order to receive a brand new cutting edge geography question so that you'll increase your knowledge about our world day by day. You'll find a link down in the video description. Thanks. Many Western European people who move to Hungary often see the country's conservative policies as an upside. Hungary is known to be critical of the European Union's asylum policy. The Fidesz party, which in Hungary has a considerable share of votes of almost 50%, has, according to its own statements, the following goals. Preservation of Christian identity, European cooperation, combating the aging population through family supportive policies, preserving national sovereignty, economic stability and support for people who identify as Hungarian abroad. Whether this is to be interpreted as an up or downside is of course up to you. Budapest is an extremely popular tourist destination. Here are some of the most important reasons for this. Budapest has a very wide, varied program of cultural activities. There are many historical monuments, UNESCO World Heritage Sites, which by the way can be found not only in the capital Budapest, but throughout the whole country of Hungary, the Danube with all its cultural offerings such as small bars, boat trips and walks by the river, Margaret Island and the so-called Budapest's Green Heart. Budapest also offers a wide range of bars and clubs. There are also great music festivals out there, the Shiget Summer Festival being particularly well known. And if you are into delicious food, you will also get along well in Budapest. There are many renowned top-level restaurants, as well as a wide variety of local restaurants that offer everything from traditional Hungarian dishes up to culinary specialities from all over the world. Of course, the first advantage, which are the lower prices, comes into play again, because the portions are always generous at an affordable price. The most important Hungarian specialities are goulash, lecho, langos and kurtos kalet. Basic healthcare in Hungary is free and of comparable quality to healthcare in Western European countries, which offer the same at a much higher price. Ok, healthcare is paid through taxes, which by the way in Hungary, apart from the taxes for startups, are not known to be very low. 
It should be noted that dentist services and other certain types of treatments are not included in the free care. As long as you have a European health care card, you can easily access health care services just like a local in your home country. However, it must also be noted that the health and nursing staff probably only understand Hungarian and you cannot assume that they are able to communicate in English. Either way, it is good if you learn Hungarian, because it will not only make your life in Hungary easier, but it also shows that you want to integrate yourself into the Hungarian society. About a tenth of the Hungarian land area is classified as a nature reserve. 10 nature reserves help to ensure that Hungary remains a safe home for about 45,000 animal species and 2,200 plant species. Because of its inland location and the shielding effect of the mountains, Hungary has a relatively dry continental climate with cold winters and warm summers. The mean temperatures in January are between negative 3 degrees Celsius or 26.6 degrees Fahrenheit and negative 1 degree Celsius or 30 degrees Fahrenheit and in July between 21 degrees Celsius or 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 23 degrees Celsius or 73 degrees Fahrenheit. In Budapest the climate seems to be a little warmer. The coldest month is January with an average of 0.4 degrees Celsius or 33 degrees Fahrenheit and the warmest month is July with 22 0.3 degrees Celsius or 72 degrees Fahrenheit. The average number of hours of sunshine per day in Budapest is at 4.55 hours. This is actually quite good. Even though Hungary has similarly unattractive taxes as other European countries, taxes for newly founded startups are attractive. As a startup you only pay 10% tax. All these advantages contribute to the high quality of life, especially in the capital Budapest. Although Hungary does not perform too good in various quality of life comparisons, expats quickly feel at home in Budapest, as this city is globalized due to the economic strength and importance. Expats say that they can settle in very quickly in Budapest and that they feel comfortable after a short time. And at the end, three important facts about Hungary worth knowing. Hungary is one of the oldest countries in Europe. It was founded in 895, even before France and Germany became independent countries. As already mentioned, Hungary has a continental climate, so summers in Hungary can get very hot. The locals escape the urban heat by temporarily moving to the countryside. The Hungarians refer to this time as the cucumber growing season, because it is the only activity to be able to execute during the period of intense heat. So you can see that Hungary is a very attractive destination to move to or at least to visit. Hungary is particularly suitable for older people who want to get more for their money. Do you have any idea which country I should address next? Then feel free to write it down in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'm looking forward to receiving your comment. See you soon!